Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today I want to show you guys basically how to change your steering block out of a Traxxas Slash Bandit Rustler Stampede two-wheel drive. On the 4x4 is a little bit different version about this guy. But basically now you'll see your steering, it's not just floppy, basically it means your steering block is broken. You have your wheel flopping and this piece right here, that's part of your steering. I'm not sure if you guys should see it. Uh, we'll just basically be doing nothing. You're gonna grab your wheel, your wheel wrench. Just remove your nut that holds your wheel. Put that aside. Remove your tire. What I do with the tire, I just put it underneath. That way the vehicle can rest on the tire. Just a little bit easier to work on the vehicle. You're going to grab again your wrench and your two mil. You're going to hold the bolt and the screw at the same time. And you can undo your bolt, put the bolt aside. And now you can finish physically unscrewing this screw right here out of the caster. Now, once it's out of the caster, remove your screwdriver. Now, basically, this screw and this guy here, it's the same size, same length, and same bolt. Doesn't matter if you mix those guys together. Don't worry about it. Just put it, this one aside. Now, on the caster and the steering block here, this is where you're going to remove this screw right here on the bottom one. And you'll notice that it has thread on one, one end of it and not on the other end. Now, this guy here, remember where it goes? It's the bottom one. Just put it aside here because I'll show you guys why you got to remember. Now, the bolt, or should I say the screw that holds the caster in, it's this guy, the bottom one here. You're going to remove that one too. Again, it's similar similar bolt that I we just removed from the uh, the A arm. Again, tread is on the, on the beginning here, none here. Now again, remember where this one goes. It goes to uh, where the uh, steering block is. If you mix them, they're different length. One's longer than the other one, not by much. Short one's on the bottom. The long one is on the caster and steering block. Now we're going to remove the caster. Now what we have left is the steering block in our hands. Now normally this should be broken here. Just for the video, it's not. <laughs> but the question I get asked a lot, how do I remove my X? People are not sure. Flat screwdriver. Insert it between the X and the steering block and pry up. And you'll feel it like re something releasing. Once that happens, you're just gonna pull on your X, put the X aside. Now there's a, the wheel pin. You're just gonna let her fall in your hands like this. Put this beside the X. Now the axle, you're just gonna push on it. It's gonna fall. On top here, you'll see a nylon washer. Remove that. Grab your flat screwdriver. Go in the bearing at 45 degrees and just push on it. Remove the first bearing to come out. Flip your caster, the string block, should I say? And same thing for the other bearing. Just remove it. Now grab your new one. Reinsert the bearings. Insert your axle your nylon washer, your wheel pin, or axle pin, the X, pop the X back in, and just make sure to align it with the hole, because behind the X, there's a slot. And once you align that, just grab both of them, and you'll hear the snap. Not sure if you guys hear that, but it snaps. That way it's solid there. Now, let's say that you guys dismantled this. And I say I want to grab the parts in a couple of days and things like that. And you come back 
and you're like, wow, I can't remember. I can't find this good video. I'm listening to it right now. Just look on the other side. It's the same procedure for both sides. It's if you're not sure, oh, it goes this way. It's going to be identical on the other side. Now, once you did this, you're going to grab your caster. Now it has right or left written on the stock part of Traxxas. The pointy end, you see it like kind of pointy, goes up. Basically inserts right here. Try to align the holes. Now we're going to grab our longest one. Longest screw. And try not to drop it. Sorry about that. Sometimes they're hard to align. There we go. And grab our two mil. Screw this guy in completely. Until it gets snug. And this starts. Now we're going to grab our short one. Go back on the A arm. Align the holes and screw that one back in. Again, stop when the bolt is snug. And we still have movement in. But see, if you put it too tight, this is gonna look, start binding, and don't you don't want that. Now, grab our bolt from earlier, and screw. Put it back in. And basically, what I do, I start doing by hand. And screw it in completely in. Then I go put the bolt. Basically, the bolt is there just to prevent it from unscrewing itself in the plastic. Grab our bolt. Put the screwdriver on one end. Hold it. Again, when it's you see it snug, just stop. That's perfect. Now we're gonna go back to our steering here. Put our screw to the blo a steering block. Now this is a, just a little bit easier putting the machine on their side. We could have done this in advance before installing the steering block on the vehicle. Screw you, screw completely in. Now it's completely in. Now let's insert our steering rod. And then put our bolt. Grab our tool here. And square in. Again, when you feel it tight, just stop because you don't want any binding. Flip your vehicle around and let's put our wheel back on. Grab a wheel bolt and a trusty tool and tighten this guy back up. Again, when you feel that it's tight, stop don't put too much pressure because if you do add a little bit too much pressure here what's going to happen you're going to put more pressure on the x 
and now it's going to be on the uh, pin axle and you might start bending it that's where they break now when you turn the steering wheel both wheels will turn if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that like button in the corner smash it and if you have any comments or uh, post them down below in the comment I'll be glad to answer you guys and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys